Gonad is aligning to be one of the biggest airdrops of 2024 and it isn't too late to start farming this one. So this video is going to be me explaining five different ways of how you can get Monad exposure. So we're going to start with the website of Monad. We're going to cover and touch on the fundamentals of what Monad actually is. And at its simplest form, it is another L1. It's an Ethereum, a Solana competitor. We can see on the website that it is a decentralized developer forward layer one smart contract platform. Now, people won't be too concerned about this right now. They just want to know how to farm it, how to make money. So the other key points we want to touch on is how they've just recently raised a couple of months back 225 million. Now, this shows that it isn't just a small low cap player. This is a blue chip player. This is going to be a big project from day one. Furthermore from that, we can see on this article here, this is an introduction to Monad, looking at the origin story and so on. But what stands out to me is the team and their past experience. So we can see here in this paragraph that the two technical founders were working on Solana DeFi and Pyfe. Now, this is quite important and it will make more sense later in the video, but we can already see that the co-founding team are very deep into the Solana ecosystem. That's going to be pretty important. So when it comes to the fundamentals, it is a very technically, um, technically advanced project. It is a big project financially as well. But then also one thing to mention is that when it comes to community and marketing, they also do a great job there because the Discord currently has over 300,000 members. The Twitter is very in touch with kind of crypto Twitter memes and the culture. So I think they're doing a lot right in a lot of different areas and a lot of people love the project. So that is already shaping up nicely for a very positive airdrop. So before we get into the five different ways to farm this one, there are two important things that you need to know. Number one is that these are just speculative ideas at the moment. We are just taking our best guess to ensure that we do what we can to try and get Monad exposure nice and early. The second thing to note is that some of them will take your time but won't cost you a penny. Some of them will be more focused around putting your capital to work. There is no right or wrong here. There is no one size fits all. Just do what works for you. So the first option is community engagement. And what this basically means is jumping into the Discord, trying to acquire as many different roles as you can, maybe helping the team out. It could be that you get involved in meme competitions. It could be bug testing. It really is just whatever the team require from the community. Now, if you plan to join and just say GM once and call it a day at that, it's probably not going to land you an airdrop. They want to really reward the people and the community who really, really support the project and like the project. So unless you're actually going to commit your time over a long period of time, it's probably not worth getting involved. But they also do have Galaxy Quests, which a lot of projects have been using recently. So these are different ways that you can really get yourself involved. Moving on to option number two now, and this is staking coins that are very relevant and closely linked to the Monad project. Now, of course, this does require your capital, but if you do have it available, if you already hold any of these tokens, you can stake them, you can leave them alone, and hopefully in the future, you land that Monad airdrop. So if we have a look at this tweet here from Crypto Cove, this was back on March 23rd. And some of you may actually recognize this tweet from a video I did back in April, where I did feature Monad as an airdrop to start farming. But it is still very relevant because we know or we've heard rumors that the Monad token isn't going to launch for a while, which is good because this gives us plenty of time to prepare and position ourselves. So what Crypto Cove says here is that he wants to get involved in the Monad airdrop, but doesn't really want to grind Discord. And this reply here from Cool Crypto says that staking P, which is Pike Finance, staking W, which is Wormhole, or staking Pyfe may all get the Monad airdrop. Now, like we mentioned earlier in the video, that connection with Pyfe, with the founder, co-founder, 
previously working on Pyfe could be that close relationship that you need to ensure that stakers get the airdrop. So these three projects all very closely linked to Monad and could be a valid option. And on the back of that, we're going to talk about owning NFTs because a number of airdrops have recently gave allocation to holders of particular NFTs. Now we know Monad is closely linked with that Solana ecosystem. But on the back of Pike Finance, we know that they have an NFT collection called Pike Guineans. And we can see here on the screen that the current floor price, I'll just refresh it to make sure it is super relevant. One eternity later. Floor price 2.15 SOL. So if you do again have the capital available, it could be worthwhile picking up some of these NFTs because this again could be a way in. Now, of course, you've got other collections you can look at. You would typically look at the big players within the Solana ecosystem. So Mad Lads, for example, of course, the floor price is much higher, currently at 65.8 sol. But if you do already own any of them, this again could be a potential ticket to a Monad airdrop. Guys, if you are enjoying the video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. There is plenty more airdrop content on the way, trying to get that alpha over to you as early as possible. Okay, so option number four now is again utilizing a project closely linked to Monad. And this time we're going to take a look at this thread from Zero X Farming. And again, it's about ecosystem getting involved with the monad ecosystem and this time it is elixir which is a project closely linked to monad now if we have a look at this galaxy quest here we can see they collaboratively work together and the first sentence says that the fourth installment of elixir nexus a joint campaign with elixir's ecosystem partner monad so we know that that is a real thing and a real relationship going back to the thread we can see that there are three different ways to basically get exposure to Elixir whilst indirectly getting exposure to Monad. So it could be actually that you end up farming two different projects at once and you could land two different airdrops because the ELX token is confirmed and it's planned to go live in August. So it could be a little bonus for you there. But anyway, we've got three different options. The first one, probably the most simple, you'll head to the website, you'll connect the wallet, you will mint ELX ETH, and you will deposit ETH to do so. The minimum is $100 worth, and your ETH will be locked until August, so do keep this in mind. So if I just quickly go over to the website, you'll go onto the page that is labeled, um, I'm gonna butcher this, but Apothecary. I think it's pronounced and this is where you'll be able to connect your wallet earn potions and complete this task next up slightly more complicated is all around adding liquidity so basically what you'll be able to do is again we'll go to the website they have the aggregator page and you'll see a bunch of different pairings for some different exchanges so for example here we've got BTC to USDC on the Apex exchange and you'll be able to pool in for a 15% APY so your money will be earning anyway. You'll click supply, you'll connect your wallet and you'll be able to do that. Now again it does require funds so you will need funds BTC and USDC to do so in that example. And lastly probably the more complex option is running a node. Now the rewards for running nodes is often quite generous because it does require quite a bit of capital now it is also very technical so i'm not going to go into this in too much detail but i will leave a link to the thread in the description so you can follow the links and check it out in more detail but if you have run nodes before and you are comfortable doing so then it may be a good option for you and the last option is another one that doesn't require any capital and this is using the monad testnet now the product isn't actually live the testnet isn't even live at this point so it shows that we are still somewhat early. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is people have been tweeting these kinds of videos saying they're waiting for the Monad testnet. This again is probably a good example of what being a true community member really means. So I'll put a couple of them on the screen for you to check out, making memes, that kind of stuff. But that's besides the point. When it comes to the testnet, it is rumored to be going live in July. This is what Zero X Farm included in that initial thread that we was just looking at, but I haven't seen any official confirmation of this. So it's definitely worth following the Monad Twitter page, putting notifications on and making sure that you're as early as possible to this. But again, very similar to what we discussed with community involvement 
early in this video. Don't just use the test net once and abandon it. That's probably not going to land you an airdrop. They want true supporters, true bug testers to help out in this phase if this is the case. And that is what's going to help people actually land a worthwhile airdrop. So that is all for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it was helpful. If you did, do drop a like, do subscribe, comment and let me know if you will be farming the Monad airdrop and also comment and let me know if you want to see more content like this. I'm more than happy to provide the airdrop alpha if you guys want to see it. In the meantime, please don't forget to trade safe, invest safe, airdrop farm safe, and I'll catch you in the next one.